Hey everybody, this is Roblox. Welcome to the Defense Channel. Today, we're going to be looking at China's aircraft carrier program. Since the 1970s, the People's Liberation Army Navy of China has had aspirations to develop and field aircraft carriers as part of their naval fleet. Today, they field two operational examples with two more under construction. The China United Shipbuilding Company bought HMAS Melbourne for scrap in 1985. Melbourne was a Majestic class light aircraft carrier that served in the UK and later Australian Royal Navies. While Australians stripped the ship of all of its weapons and sensor systems, along with welding the rudder into a fixed position so that the ship could not be reactivated, the catapult, arresting gear, and mirror landing systems remained aboard. Upon arrival in China, Naval architects and engineers began to study the vessel right away. Melbourne was the largest warship any of these experts had ever seen, and they were reportedly astonished by the amount of equipment left aboard. The PLA Navy then ordered the ship's flight deck and all associated equipment to be removed for further study. It is rumored that the PLA pilots were trained on this deck or a replica built after further examination. The carrier was not dismantled for many years, According to some rumors, she was not completely broken up until 2002. China acquired the former Soviet Kiev-class aircraft carriers Minsk in 1995 and Kiev in 2000. Minsk, along with its sister ship Novorossiysk, was initially sold to South Korea in 1995 to be scrapped, but due to objections from environmentalists, Minsk was resold to China in 1998 to be broken up there instead. Kiev, likewise, was sold to China in 2000 by Russia with a contractual agreement for it to be scrapped. However, neither ship was dismantled and both were instead converted into tourist attractions with Minsk turning into a theme park and Kiev into a luxury hotel. Kiev is rumored to be undergoing another renovation as a tourist attraction while Minsk to this day basically sits abandoned in a Chinese lagoon. In 1997, China attempted to purchase the retired French aircraft carrier Clemenceau, but negotiations between China and France failed. The ship that would later become China's first operational aircraft carrier was laid down as Riga at Shipyard 444 at Mykolaiv in Ukraine on December 6, 1985. Launched on December 4, 1988, the carrier was renamed Variag in late 1990. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, the ship was only 68% complete. Construction was halted and the ship was put up for sale. Ukraine approached China, India, and Russia as potential buyers. China sent a high-level delegation in 1992, which reported that the ship was in good condition and recommended a purchase. However, the Chinese government declined to purchase the ship because of the international diplomatic situation at the time. Unable to find a buyer, Ukraine left the ship to deteriorate in the elements similar to their Slava class cruiser Ukraina. In 1998, the rusting hulk was sold at auction to a Chinese company at, known as Chong Lot from Macau. Western observers were suspicious of this since Chong Lot had no listed telephone number was not located at its listed address and was run by former officers of the Chinese Navy. Officials in Macau also denied Chong Lot's application to operate a casino. However, analysts thought at the time that Variag had deteriorated too much to be used as an operational warship and pointed out that the Chinese Navy at the time appeared to be concentrating most of its efforts on submarines. Allegedly, the owner of Chong Lot shipped 40 tons of the carrier's blueprints to China overland in up to eight trucks. The ship undertook an incident-filled tow to China, finally arriving on March 3rd at Dalian Shipyard. On July 27th, the Chinese Defense Ministry announced that it was refitting the vessel for scientific research and experimental training. It would be named Liaoning after a province in China. In 2018, Asia Times reported that Sun Bo, a general manager of the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, had allegedly passed on technical details of Liaoning to the Central Intelligence Agency. Sun was a general manager at the Dalian shipyard where the ship's refurbishment was done. And we had a video years ago when this happened. It was one of the first videos that we put out on this channel 
Uh, I will put a link to that in the corner of the screen right here. The ship undertook sea trials in 2011 and was handed over to the PLA Navy in 2012. In 2019, the ship was activated to combat status from her former role as an aviation training ship. To this day, she is rumored to carry around 40 aircraft. The Type 002 is China's first domestically produced aircraft carrier. Construction began in November of 2013 and the ship was launched on April 26 of 2017. After being fitted out, China's first home-built aircraft carrier underwent nine sea trials over the course of 18 months starting in May of 2018. The ship was formally commissioned into service on December 19th of 2019 as the Shandong with pennant number 17. Shandong is a conventionally powered ski drum carrier with a displacement of around 70,000 tons. The ship is derived from the Liaoning. It uses conventional steam turbines with diesel generators as propulsion. The Shandong is a significant improvement over the Soviet-built Liaoning. The island includes a secondary glazed deck which permits the flight and bridge crews to operate in separate areas, creating better operational uh, efficiency. It also features a faceted upper area of four actively electronically scanned arrays for the S-Type Band 346 radar. Shandong serves today in active service with the PLA Navy. The Type 003 aircraft carrier is a second generation Chinese aircraft carrier under construction for the People's Liberation Army Navy in China. It will be the first Chinese aircraft carrier to use a cattle bar system or electromagnetic launch catapults. The unfinished ship has been most closely compared to the U.S. Navy's retired Kitty Hawk class carriers. We have since learned that the ship is 984 feet long at the waterline and 1,036 feet long if you include the flight deck. Construction began around 2016. The exact date of this is not known. On June 17th of 2022, the ship was launched and named Fujian after another Chinese province, just like the previous two aircraft carriers. The Type 004 aircraft carrier is a planned aircraft carrier of the People's Liberation Army Navy. Unlike the conventionally powered Type 003, the Type 004 is expected to be larger and is also expected to be the first Chinese carrier to feature nuclear marine propulsion and could generate enough electricity to possibly power laser weapons and rail guns that are currently under development. It is expected to be completed by the late 2020s and up to four of these could potentially be built. That's all I got for y'all today. I want to thank you guys for watching the Defense Channel. If you haven't been here before, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and uh, that's all I got. Like I said, I'm out of here. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.